Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome to another drugstore video. We're going to be testing out some new goodies today. Well, at least I hope they're good. We don't know yet, uh, but I'm just really excited. I love doing these videos, and I just did one maybe two-ish weeks ago. I'll link it up here, and you guys know, or maybe you don't know if you're new to this channel, I just love kind of testing out wherever the tides of the makeup may be rolling, whether it's high-end, drugstore, I don't care. I just love testing out all the new makeup. And by the way, just really quick, going into this, from Physicians Formula, I didn't get my hands on yet their new... Um, um, their bronzing powder the, and like the all-star palette and stuff like that because this which I picked up on Ulta This is the diamond dust mineral wear skin perfecting glow highlighter situation and I think that on the Ulta website this released like a day or two before the other items did So I didn't know obviously that those were coming and or otherwise I would have waited and purchased it all at once So in today's video, we're gonna be testing this out But I just wanted to let you guys know rest assured the rest is on its way uh, But it's just not in this video. So if you're looking for that, I apologize, but oh honey <laughs> You just wait because it will be here soon. But anyways, that's what we're doing in today's video and I'm super excited um, I just I love sitting down doing stuff like this. So too just as a side note Okay, I'm filming this really late in the day So this isn't like um, a wear test or anything like that Of course if I have any other information, you know, maybe that I come up with before I post these I will either leave it down in the comments um, Like in a pinned comment or in the description box So if you're ever looking for more information or you want to know if I have more information Check those two areas because if I do that's where I'll post it But anyways, if you like this video if this is your style if you're into some drugstore, make sure that you hang tight. We're going to be jumping into it here in a second. But of course, per usual, I like to pause and introduce myself for anybody that might be new. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then also if you're new here, <laughs> hello, um, and you haven't done so yet, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over on Instagram. Everything is linked down below, but I'm currently trying to hit 10,000 followers over on that platform and I do put up a ton a ton of content over there it's definitely worth your time there's everything from obviously like makeup makeup application makeup IGTVs and reels and tutorials and stuff like that but then also over there I do branch into like the fun artsy side of it I do plus size fashion so if you're into like what's new even if it's just like casual style loungewear stuff like that I post a lot a lot of that and I'm very very active in my stories which is like the uh, kind of the day-to-day -day part as I go through we do unboxings in my office I show you guys what's coming up on the channel. We take polls and it's just kind of like the behind the scenes for the channel for me for my life I just kind of had like a blacked out moment there for a second Did I say everything subscribe turn on your post notifications follow me on Instagram comment down below Let me know if you like these kind of videos. I feel like I'm forgetting something But I don't know what it is. So let's go ahead zoom the camera in and let's get started yeah, let's just do that. All right, so going in first to complexion here, I have two different items, both from Wet n Wild, and this is the new Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. And on the back here, I'm just reading, it says that this is an oil-free perfector that delivers hydrating benefits in a buildable sheer to medium tint for a flawless, softly luminous complexion. And the hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalane help promote healthy-looking, supple, moisturized skin. And then on the other side for concealer here, I have the new Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. And I picked this one up in two different shades. I have Fair Beige and Fair. And for those of you that are new here, anytime I mess around with like two different types of coverage, like this one being more of a tint, that one being more full coverage, I do do my best to really showcase the coverage that you will get from just this one product versus, you know, you, me putting them all together and then kind of portraying to you like, oh, this is the coverage you get from this because I feel like that's really misleading. And so what I'm going to do for today is go in first with a little bit of the tinted hydrator and I'm going to keep it just mainly on this cheek that way we can see you know what it looks like over the acne the redness hyperpigmentation stuff like that and then as we move forward I'll do the same thing probably on the other side with just the concealer that way we can get a feel for this its coverage and then of course as we move forward everything else will blend together and you know the, the coverage will probably build on itself that way you guys get a better understanding if you choose to pick you know one of these up you'll kind of know what you'll actually be getting in terms of coverage um, and that's kind of obviously my end goal. So what I'm going to do first here is just take a little bit of the tinted hydrator. I'm just taking it on my finger first just so I can kind of schmooey it on my cheek in terms of, oh, that is a very nice soft texture. I like that. I'm just going to kind of 
press it in with my hands. I feel like a lot of times when tinted hydrators like this are involved, it's better to go this route just because you do get all of the coverage payoff versus it being absorbed into a sponge. And this one actually like padded right in almost instantly. I feel like there's, yeah, no, there's absolutely no streaking and it does give a nice light wash of color. It's definitely not anything intense in terms of coverage, but I do really like the luminosity. I don't know if it's really, you know, showing up on camera, but this area looks very nice and hydrated. I'm just going through now and patting on a little additional coverage that way you know we can see if the buildable aspect of this is still in play because it did spec on the bottle that it's buildable to a medium coverage which I gotta be honest based on what I'm seeing I don't think that I would call this a medium coverage I think this would be buildable to a nice light coverage but I don't see it really drifting much farther than that especially if you have like me really intense like red acne um, I, I just don't see it going that far but I do like the way that it's building up in terms of just light redness. I think that looks really good. All right, you guys, so a couple of things. Number one, obviously, I zoomed the camera in. Hello. We're going to talk about it in a second, but I just wanted to throw it out there. I completely forgot to prime. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me uh, because it was sitting directly in front of me. I even picked up this primer. This is the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. This is actually the same formula as their original Prime Shield Primer, which was in kind of a shorter, squatty little black bottle, and I used to use that all the time. But when I saw this repackaged on the Ulta website into um, this new bottle, I was like, you know what? I should try that again because I feel like when I had super oily skin, it wasn't enough for me. But now that my skin has calmed down a little bit, it might be something um, something that I could use. So what I'm going to do here is just take a little teeny bit of this. It's more of like a clear, just straight silicone kind of primer. And I am going to take and just work that onto this side. Uh, and then, you know, we can kind of compare and contrast, see if there's a difference between the two. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, completely forgot. Sorry about that. But anyways, with that nice and soaked in doing its primer situation, situation over here, I wanted to zoom in originally, as per usual here, to show you guys what kind of coverage we're looking at with this tinted hydrator. And then obviously on this side, while I'm zoomed in, we'll go in with concealer and we'll start playing with that as well. But uh, on this side, so far, I actually think things are looking good. This, um, this hydrator's been on now for, I would say, what, maybe three-ish minutes while I applied the primer and zoomed everything in and whatnot. And it's actually pretty much dried down. Like, it feels pretty good. It's not super tacky. There is a little transfer, but it's not super tacky. And I really like the fact that um, in terms of the build of it, you do have, like I said before, a decent light coverage. I don't think it's anything crazy. I mean, you can see comparing it to this redness versus over here, it just more so kind of evened it out. But I think for me, I'm actually impressed with the luminosity that it looks like I'm getting on the skin. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it has like a really decent little sheen to it. And I like that. It looks nice and healthy. But at the same time, it's not like overly dewy or tacky or anything like that, which is nice. And then on the other side here, I'm going to start going in. This is the concealer in the shade Fair. Again, this is the Mega Last Incognito Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm going to start by just kind of popping that right in those two main areas. And I'm going to grab my little dose of color sponge here and just lightly pat it out. We can kind of see what we're going to get in terms of the fullness. Oh, I like that. It has a really beautiful brightening aspect to it. Oh my God. I used like the teeniest amount too. Like I didn't build up any of that product. And I feel like it's such a smoothing, lifting look on my under eye right now. Oh my God, okay. Let's take just a little bit more. Look at me, I'm like, let's, let's just add some more then. Um, and I'm actually gonna take it this time too and lightly start shaping out the face. This is a really nice, thin consistency. I don't know if that's coming across on camera or not. It feels very, very lightweight, but at the same time, I'm still blending it and building it and getting a beautiful amount of coverage. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I want to do now, now that we've kind of played around with both of those coverages and, you know, got to see them up close here, I'm going to go in with the Tinted Hydrator and, you know, just to even everything out, I'm going to throw that over on this side where I just played around with the concealer and get that nice and worked in. And then just like I did on the other side, I'm just patting out some additional concealer, you know, just to kind of even out both sides, obviously do the under eyes. I really like the way too, like the colors of both of those, they match my skin really, really well. All right, so at this point, we're pretty much wrapped up as far as the complexion goes, the coverage and whatnot. So I wanted to give you just one more overall shot of, you know, how everything is looking. It's built to about a medium coverage right now. Um, you know, you can still see some redness, hyperpigmentation poking through, but for the most part, everything is 
is nice and covered. I wanted to mention one more thing before I zoom the camera back out, um, and that is that if you are somebody that prefers, you know, the lightly kind of apply concealer, pat it out kind of method, I feel like this could end up being a great option for that. I'm just gonna put down like a teeny teeny amount right here, um, and that's because the coverage of this is so beautiful, and the thinness of it works really well, so you can actually see how nicely it blends out with very little effort, and it really does do a nice job too of drying down, not too quick, but also not like lingering and being super like wet on the skin. It just, you know, kind of settles down, does a really nice job, and as you press it in, you can kind of feel that tackiness and the movement and just keep patting it out, and it just works really, really beautiful. So I wanted to mention that. All right, now at this point, normally I would, you know, set the under eyes, set the face, and move on to powder products, but before we do that, I do have two new cheek products. These are both from Milani, and oh, don't they look so damn beautiful. These are their Cheek Kiss Cream Blushes, and I have them in the shade 120 Coral Crush and 130 Blushing Berry, and I'm gonna go ahead, let's swatch them. God, that just looks like such a beautiful texture. I really, ooh, wow, those are gorgeous. All right, so here are the swatches. Here's 120, here's 130. Obviously, this one is the more corally one, and I freaking love the look of those. Oh my gosh. The texture of these is very much so like a thin gel type formula, and I think to apply, I'm actually just going to go in per usual here like I would. This is, again, my dose of color sponge, the same thing that I just used all over the face, and I am going to dive in to the coral one here. Just do a little bit of this, and we are going to apply a little. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, okay, this is, um, that's a lot. Let's maybe spread some love around. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you guys know I always overdo the blush. It's just kind of who I am. It's like built into me. Uh, but look at how easily that blended out. It took like 10 seconds. I just took it and split what I had on here between both sides and it blended out like nothing. So, like literally a dream. Hello, I need to look at this up close. I feel like there is no way that that could have just went that easily. Oh my God, Milani, this formula? Like, hello, <laughs> how great is that? You know what, just because I wouldn't be me if I didn't slightly over blush, I'm gonna go in with the more intense shade there, 130, and I am going to pop that on as well. Just because I want to take a little Ganza Mianza. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. And I do like to take two if you're wondering what I'm doing. I love to pop, um, especially cream blush, up on my temples. And then when I go over it with powder, it just kind of brings that area a little bit more color. All right, you guys. So at this point, I don't have any new uh, products as far as like powder and bronzer and stuff like that go. So I am just going to move on and set the under eye and through the T-zone here with my one size uh, setting powder. This is, actually I talked about this in my month end favorites, which if you missed it, I'll link it up here. This is a powder that I'm using today because I've, as, as I mentioned in that video actually, I really love the look of it with thinner textured concealers. And I feel like this concealer, the one from Wet n Wild, is actually going to be a perfect match for this powder. So I'm just taking this, pretty much all the areas um, that are more wrinkly or more greasy, um, that I put that concealer. So again, forehead all the way through the nose, chin, and then under, both eyes. All right, and then over the rest of the face, the perimeter, you know, everywhere that I haven't set yet, I'm going to take a little bit of the It Cosmetics um, Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder, and this is in the shade Light. I use it all the time, and I'm just going to take and, again, lightly apply it. I don't like to go in and really cake this up, especially when I already have, like, a nice medium coverage base going on. All right, and then from there, I'm just continuing on with my Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. As you, as you can tell, I like this one a lot. Uh, this is in the shade Medium. It's her airbrushed bronzer. And I'm just taking here and lightly kind of buffing that in. And then for blush, again, don't, don't have anything new to reach for. I'm going to grab this Buxom White Russian palette here. And I'm actually just going to mix these two shades together um, for a little bit of pop on the cheek. I really don't need a lot, actually. If you can still see on this side, there's a fair amount of that cream blush still popping through. So I just want to add a little bit, kind of give it like a, a nice little dusting of luminosity as well. And the two of these, when you mix them together, they have like a beautiful, not only color, but a nice little sheen. All right, so at this point, we're good to move on to some new products again. I have two different brow items, actually. Um, this one is from Wet n Wild. This is their new Brow Sessive, and it says here that this is just a shaping gel. I have it in the shade just brown, and it says on here that the brush is going to fluff and groom your hairs into place with a soft, comfortable hold, and it's going to subtly fill and tint them as well for a natural-looking fullness. And then also to go along with that, I have the Physician's Formula Transfer Resistant 
Instant Slim Brow Pencil. And this one I have just in the shade Taupe. I don't, don't know if there was another shade or not. Uh, but I grabbed this one in the shade Taupe. And I grabbed it because I don't remember um, ever trying a brow pencil, at least not in recent memory, from Physician's Formula. And this one is just a standard uh, pencil. It looks like, you know, it has a regular um, little lead on one side. And then on the other side, it actually has a cute little small, <laughs> little small spoolie, which I like. And the texture isn't bad. It is a little on the stiff side, which I don't think is necessarily bad. I feel like, if anything, that'll give you a little bit more control of the product itself. All right, so first up here, we've got the Maiden Voyage with the Wet n Wild little brow gel. Wow, that actually does have a nice, like, light little filling effect to it. The um, the formula itself is definitely a little bit thicker, and I think that that's kind of building up, making it, you know, get that full appearance. And I actually like it. I feel like because it has that thickness, it's not, like, flinging all over the place. All right, and then with that nice and kind of lightly fluffed through the brows, I'm going to go in now with the Physician's Formula Pencil and just lightly kind of drag it through. All right, so at this point I went ahead and I did finish up the brows. I think the only critique that I would have um, with those products is actually the way that I applied them. I think because the um, the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Shaping Gel, because this is a little bit thicker it, and it doesn't have like as wet of a formula, it does take a little bit longer to dry. And going over top of it with the Physician's Formula Pencil proved to be, you know, not the best decision I've ever made. Um, so I think if it were me, you know, to do over again, I would go pencil first first and then this if you're someone like me that typically tries to go in first with the shaping gel to try and fluff everything up. Anyways, getting into eyeshadow, I actually have a couple of different options and I have no idea which one we're going to use first, but I will say in all fairness that this one from Milani, their new Gilded Terra palette, this is really, really calling my name. I think it is so freaking beautiful. And I figured since how we're here, we would just go ahead and swatch five of the shimmers. Look at how freaking beautiful they are. And you know what's so interesting too? In pan, both of those greens look so similar, but once you swatch them out, they are completely different. This one has more of like a true green, um, more of like an evergreen type color to it, whereas the one next to it, which was the one I was the most excited about, that one is green with like gold reflect in it. You know what? The more that I look at this palette, I think this is the option we're going to run with because my other options, don't get me wrong, I want to use them too, but I feel like for today's video, I would just, I really need to use this. Um, but you know, just as a side note, other stuff I'll be testing out here at some point, I picked up the Wet n Wild Color Icon Minis, and in I think it was Testing Drugstore, the one I did two weeks ago. If I haven't linked that, I will link, link it up here. Um, but I tested out one of their larger palettes. It's like the, maybe the 12 to 15 pan. And I found these on the Ulta website and I wanted to test them out because they kind of obviously remind me of the e.l.f. bite size. So I do have two different versions of these, which I'll be testing out at some point. And then I also have from Revlon, this is their Liquid Chrome, So Fierce Chrome Metallic Liquid Liner. I think I just <laughs> said the same three words over and over again. But um, I wanted to try this out too. This is in the shade Gunmetal, so it has like a really beautiful, um, intense, kind of dark, silvery, metallic look to it. But again, I don't know if I'm going to be using this today. I feel like this is much more of kind of a look all in of itself. And for today's look, I, I would really, really just like to focus right in here because it's kind of calling my name. And I'm actually using some of today's concealer to prime the lids because I really, really like the texture of it. I actually used uh, this concealer as well to carve out the um, underside of my brows, and it worked really, really well. So I figured we would try it out for this too, see how it blends with shadows and whatnot. All right, so first up here, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bloom. It's the nice kind of light medium tone pink in the palette. And I'm just taking that on a refer number one brush here and lightly working it through the crease. This is just going to be a nice light transition shade here. So this shade is a little bit more pink than I had intended. I was thinking uh, based on the, the way that it looks in the pan that it would be a little bit more pale, but actually on the lid, it does build up to be slightly more intense, which is fine. I do think to kind of counteract that, I'm going to take the same brush and grab a little bit of the shade Unplugged, which is just a light matte bone colored shade. And I'm going to use that to very lightly kind of go over the edges of that pink just to soften it a little bit. So next up, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna grab the shade No Filter, which is this one just right next to it so you can kind of see the comparison. And I'm gonna take this on a Lunar Beauty. This is the LBE2. And I'm going to put that on the outer V. Wow, there, this one has a lot of payoff. I'm gonna be a little bit more targeted with this one because it actually is not a matte shade. It is more of like a, like a luminous matte where it has kind of the best of both worlds. Like it gives you a little glow, but it's also not like intense, you know, like 
like a shimmer is intense. And then you know what? I think I'm actually gonna switch things up and go with this shade right here. This is good to grow and it's just a really deep matte shimmer. Oh God, that's really beautiful. I'm just gonna take this here and pop it all over the mobile lid. I was going for something a little bit different. Uh, but I realized that I really, really wanted to use this shade because it's absolutely beautiful. And then I think too, just to finish up the upper eye right here, or the upper lid rather, I'm gonna go in with the shade Enjoy the View. And I'm gonna pop this. This is a Lunar Beauty LBE7. And I wanna throw this shade just kind of on the inner V right here to give it that nice little pop. And to throw onto the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Belief, which is B-E-L-E-A-F, I love that name. And this is actually a dark matte green shade. And I'm gonna take this on the Lunar Beauty, this is the LBE3. And I'm going to just tap this, mainly starting here on the outer V and then lightly dragging it over. I personally, and this is just a personal thing, um, I love the combination of purple and green together. I feel like they pair beautifully. And then just like I did on the upper eye right here, up toward the brow bone, I'm gonna take that same shade Unplugged, the light bone color, and I'm gonna take it on that same refer brush and lightly use it on the lower lash line to blend out that green. And then just for a little extra pop of fun, I'm gonna take the shade Sage Advice, which is the green that has those gold little reflex in it. And I'm gonna take some of that just on my finger here and lightly kind of throw it up under my lower lash line just to kind of add like a fun little top coat to the green that I already laid down because I want it to have a little bit more movement, like a little bit more intensity down there. And even paired up against the purple now, it gives such a better vibrancy to both shades. Like the purple looks more intense, the green looks more intense, and it just looks so good overall. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. That was a gorgeous combination. And then really quick, now that I'm done with the... um with the eye look. I'm gonna run through with a little bit of my KKW powder. This is her brightening powder in the shade one. And I am just using this to lightly kind of enhance these areas, bring them all back to life a little bit and dust off any fallout. And I did, as far as that fallout goes, have a little bit with this palette, but I'm not surprised, honestly, because I feel like the, the shades themselves definitely have a softer texture, which I think it's kind of a, you know, personal preference for some people. I know that they don't like fallout for some, you know, they, they just want them to blend well. And in my experience, I do find that the softer the shadow, like when you're going through swatching them, stuff like that, um, the softer the shadow is in pan. Yes, you'll have a little bit more kick. You might have a little bit more fallout. You know, if you go in with more on your brush, but ultimately having that softer formula does help it blend a lot better. So for me personally, it doesn't bother me. I just make sure to tap off my brush. I blend and everything goes well, but just something to note if you, you know, if you have a preference in that direction, these are a little bit softer, but they blend beautifully. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So at this point, before I go in with highlight or mascara, I do like to do kind of a preliminary set over my face. And for today, I have two different sprays. They're both from Essence and this is their Hello Good Stuff three-in-one face mist. It is going to hydrate, fix and refresh, and it has watermelon extract. Um, and then this one over here is their fix and last 18 hour makeup fixing spray for an instant matte effect. It is waterproof and it has no oil or alcohol, which I was actually very excited about. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is go in with just a little bit of the matte spray first, just to kind of settle everything into the skin. Let's test that little mister first, see what we're getting ourselves into here. Oh. All right, so I will say the spray, once you get a couple of pumps into it, it's not that bad, but it does have a little bit of a heavier mist, so be mindful. Uh, but as far as the smell goes, there really isn't one, so I'm just gonna go ahead. That's actually very refreshing for me. So I'm gonna take and just... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, so that's definitely, definitely on the garden hose side. It's very... Uh, e. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead instead, though, and talk about this highlighter. This is the Physician's Formula, as I said, Mineral Wear Diamond Dust uh, Highlighter, and I have this in the shade Starlit Glow. All right, so obviously I love the packaging. I think this is super beautiful. The packaging itself, as well as the product, has that nice little lightly faceted look. Super pretty. Let's go ahead. Ooh, Oh, very, very soft in texture. Oh, I get what this is. Okay, y'all, this is definitely um like the, ooh, very pretty. All right, so it has a very similar texture to this one, the Fenty How Many Carrots Highlight, which if you're not familiar with this, it's um not really like an intense, like a regular kind of highlight. This is more so what I call like a highlight topper. I'll actually swatch both of them so you can see them side by side. Um, But the idea with these, at least for me, I, I mean, I know some people apply them just as a straight highlight, which is totally fine. But what I I like to 
use these for is actually as a highlight topper. Um, so this one right here in the middle, this one is the Fenty one, how many carats? And this one right next to it is actually the one from Physicians Formula. And in terms of the shades, because obviously you can't see this on camera, but the one from Fenty has more of a silver sparkle to it, like a silver little speckle. And the one from uh, Physicians Formula, this one right here, has more of a pinky kind of champagne-y sparkle to it. So I actually think in terms of the skin tone, you know, element for me, because I'm just because I'm so pasty, um, I actually think this one will work pretty good for me. So I think what I'm going to do, just so we can like really get a feel for how this changes a highlight or what it adds to the skin, I'm going to go in with a more demure highlight, like, like something that gives me a nice amount of shine, but not too much. And so for that, I'm going to go in with this one from Kierwise. This is their powder highlight in the shade Beam. And I'm going to take my little trusty um, tart brush here and do a little glowing. You can see it gives you a nice lit effect, but it's not overly intense in terms of a highlight. I will say too, on camera, this comes off a lot more intense than it is in real life. Like here, I, I feel like you can really see the, um, just the lit effect, but because the lights are bouncing off of it, it does pull a little more intense. All right, now with that on, let's go ahead here. I'm gonna apply this one just like I do the Fenty. So I like to take it just a little bit here on my finger. You can see it has a nice little glisten and I'm just gonna pop it right up here. Ooh. You guys, that's actually really beautiful. And something else too that I think is really important to touch on with a highlighter like this, because it is so different from like a traditional kind of highlight, um, is that if you are someone that doesn't, you don't like um, maybe like a, like a glittery kind of look to the skin, or you don't like having that kind of glitter, like even the texture on your cheekbone, because uh, I know that there's definitely some people that love it, some people that don't mind. I tend to be someone that falls somewhere in the middle. Like I, I don't want it to ever look like I have a big swatch of glitter on my face, but I I think if you can, you know, take something like this, you can pair it with a regular highlight and use it just as like a targeted type situation like I did. I think that that looks really beautiful. It, co it comes across amazing in photos if you, you know, you want to take selfies or whatever. It really reflects very, very nicely. As far as this mist right here, I like to go in, you know, and kind of settle everything down one last time before mascara. And for that, I'm going to be using the uh, Hello Good Stuff, which is the other essence that I picked up, the other mist. And I talked about this on Instagram the other day when I unboxed all of this. And the thing about this mist, because I do like the hydrated look. I feel like it does a nice job refreshing. Um, but as far as the smell goes, it is a little bit more intense. Like that watermelon, <laughs> that watermelon-esque is definitely pronounced. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. If you don't like fragrance, this might not be for you. Yeah, and that mist or two, man, it really makes a difference. I feel like just the way that it even hits the skin, it's just so much more even and <laughs> nice and it's just a lot more pleasurable in general. But I really, really wish that this didn't have such a strong watermelon smell. Like why? Why? It literally would have been like the the perfect feeling and the perfect experience without that smell. Because right now, oh, let me just tell you, I can taste all the watermelon. And if I'm going to taste watermelon, bitch, I expect to be eating it in the summer. See this? Just really getting into it. And this is not that for me. All right. So moving on from there, we're getting into mascara. And for that, I have this new one from Essence. This is their Bold Volume 24 Ever Mascara. And it has, I would say, more of like a straight wand. It has a slight curve, but it does have rubber bristles. So they are like that shorter rubberized texture. I will say for me personally, this isn't uh, the type that I typically gravitate towards. I do prefer more of a real bristle. Also, for anybody that might be new here, I like to throw this out every once in a while. I uh, I typically do not wear false lashes, and by typically, I mean I haven't worn any in a very long time. So for me, I prefer this route where I just get to go in and build up a few coats of mascara, but obviously, if you prefer lashes or if you like just one coat, maybe you like, you know, a less, less intense lash look, that's totally fine. Uh, but for me, I will be sitting here building these up because for me, it's, it's all about the end game. Like, I want to know how intense I can make one mascara mascara. And I gotta be honest, I'm actually really impressed so far with this. I feel like it's building very, very nicely. All right, you guys. So at this point, I'm trying, trying to decide which lip product to use, but I finished up the eyes and obviously built up the mascara. For liner, I used on the upper waterline the Fenty Fly Pencil in the shade Cause I'm Black. And then on the lower lash line, just for an extra little pop of that green, I grabbed the NYX Epic Wear Liner in the shade Intense Teal, uh, just cause I thought it would like balance everything nicely. And now I'm looking at lip options. Options, and I have this one, which I really like the look of from Essence. This is their long lasting bullet style lipstick in the shade 01 Curious. And it is a little bit more cool toned, but I think this with maybe one of the glosses could look really pretty. I think 
what I might do because I have a couple of these like Wet n Wild. This is their Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse as well as the Diamond Plumper Mineral Wear Lip Plumper from, that was very redundant, um, from Physician's Formula. Look at this packaging. It's so cute. Uh, it looks like a crystal. But I think what I'm going to do because I really, I just really like this color so I know I'm going to use it anyways. So I think what I'll do is actually save these for another drugstore video so stay tuned for that. Um, I feel, feel like I could do these every two weeks. Hey, you know what? Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Are you cool with constant drugstore content? Because I am. Bitch loves a good drugstore moment. I just, I feel like the drugstore, especially like we're talking about essence. This stuff is like three or four, like what? Two, three dollars, four dollars. Um, it's, that's always worth my time. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me know down below if you like this kind of content. I'm going to go ahead, put this in the box for later. And I think over top of this lipstick from essence, I'll probably go in with one of these glosses because these really like, let's just talk about it. <laughs> they really excited 31 year old born in 1989, lived through the nineties, bitch ass page right here. Like, look, look at my shirt. Okay. Th this right here should tell you everything you need to know. And these, oh my God. <laughs> just look at them. Just look at them. Uh, I feel, feel like they're very exciting. Go ahead and take a look here. This is their Essence Juicy Bomb Shiny Lip Gloss. And I did get it in more of a clear shade as well as a shade with a little bit of color. And the clear shade, as, as the name would suggest, is a little bit more on the clear side. And this is the shade 03 Sweet Peach. It does have a little teeny, teeny bit of like a peach kind of glitter in there, but you really can't see it. You, you, you could put this over top of any color. It's just going to look clear. Um, and it's actually really beautiful. And then in addition to that, y'all know I just love a nude lip moment. And so I picked this one up. This is the shade 07. Ah, Sai. <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, well, let's see what rather they did there. And this one I actually applied over on Instagram. You can see that it does have a little bit more of a tint to it. It's still not super intense, but I really, really like the tone of this. I feel like it's that kind of gloss that has just enough of something that if you were going for that, you know, there but not, this would kind of be that level of tint, which I like. Uh, so I think what we're going to do Wait, oh my god. Oh my god, wait a second. How did I how did I not notice this before? You guys, this gloss, is it the gloss? Hold on, something smells really bad. Is it the gloss or the lipstick? Nope. The lipstick. The lipstick smells just fine, dandy, don't have any issues. Is it this seriously, does this gloss smell that bad? Because I I can't if it does. Wait a second. But like at the same time, oh, first of all, have you ever noticed when something smells, you just smell it that much more? Okay, so in conclusion, here's what I know. which <laughs> It's not much, I, I will admit. Um, but I can tell you, okay, that this, this gloss, it doesn't smell that great at first. Like when you first, it kind of smells like a rotten plant <laughs> type situation. Um, but after a while, like I can barely smell it. So it like does dissipate, but I still don't know that I'd want to ever put that on my damn lips. Cause if I had to smell that, mm, I don't know if you know this, but your lips right under your nose, like right, right there. It's like a straight shot of the stank. And I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it's definitely not as intense, but oh bitch, that was, that was, that was a whole minute. Let's just go in, add some of the lipstick again, mm, more of like a cool tone ish purple, which I actually. I really like. I feel like a, a lot of times for me, colors like this can turn a little bit more gray against my skin tone. That's actually really pretty. And then over top of that, just a little bit of that acai shade. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's pretty. Texture, very, very nice. Lightweight, actually, surprisingly. Like, I'm telling you, if there wasn't some kind of a weird-ass stank factor going on, this would be, like, one of the best products I've ever tried. Oh, God. Like, texture, the shine... Oh my God, and it's Essence, so it's so affordable. But like, look at how beautiful. Oh, damn. All right, you guys, with that, this is the full face done and complete. And obviously this is how things turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close. That way you guys can get a good look at the complexion. And I'm actually gonna start that off with the complexion itself because I think it's actually a really good showing for me that the both of the complexion products, the tinted hydrator and the concealer worked as well as they did because a lot of times when I'm going in and I'm testing, you know, new product here, new product there, a lot of times it can get kind of funky and one thing can start to kind of fight with another. And I have to say, both of those products did, in my opinion, exactly what they were supposed to do. I will say, I think the tinted one is marked with a little bit too much gusto. I think that instead of saying sheer to medium coverage, they should have dialed that back a little bit and said that it was, in fact, a sheer to light coverage because I don't think that, you know, you would really be able to build that to a decent medium without, like, a concealer like I did today. So I think with that one, really, just keep your expectations a little lower in terms of coverage. Again, think more uh, sheer to light, but I don't have any issues with that. Again, it is a tinted hydrator that's 
more so what it is for me. It would be more of like an out the door kind of product. And I'm just, I'm really impressed with the way the complexion looked, the way that it paired with the concealer, which actually, let's just talk about that concealer, y'all. That concealer, I think that that's my favorite product of the day. I am so, so impressed with it. I love the texture. It's very lightweight and it actually reminds me a lot of, and again, this is just a first impression, so I can't like, you know, 100% vouch for it, but the texture, the feel, the coverage, all of that, it reminds me a lot of the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Like it has that level of thinness to it, but I actually feel like this one might have a touch more coverage. So for me, I'm really looking forward to continuing to test this one out and see, you know, how it works, how it wears, and actually how it wears throughout an entire day. But yeah, for me, the concealer, hands down, that, that I think, yeah, for me, that is probably my favorite product of the day. I really like it. And I would just like to say I was this close, okay, this close to saying, oh my God, I loved everything I tried. Everything went swimmingly. Oh, what a great day. Um, until I realized that this little bitch, <laughs> she quite literally took all the oxygen out of my lungs. And I will tell you right now, I do not like this at all. I think the scent is way too strong. And by the way, this one too, like just, just has like a little bit more insult to injury. Not only did it choke the shit out of me when I sprayed it, but also while I was applying mascara, like five minutes later, uh, it was still <laughs> choking the living shit out of me. It was stuck in here like a, <clears throat> I was coughing. It's just not good. Um, there's a, there's just something about these little little scent particles that really just traveled right down into my lungs. And I'm not, I'm not a big fan. There's no reason, in my opinion, for this to have so much scent. I don't understand it. All right, you guys, with that, I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm pretty sure I said it all. But again, if there is anything, it'll either be in a pinned comment or in the description, like I said at the start of the video. Um, and if you want to check out any of these products or even what I'm wearing, I'll make sure I have it all linked down below. This is from Urban Outfitters. Uh, it's just an oversized Nirvana shirt, and I freaking love it. I love this so much. Um, so I'll have it all linked down below. The necklace is just a little letter necklace. It's from my Amazon favorite storefront, which I'll have that link down below. All of the makeup, everything I used, everything that I talked about, whatever is applicable, okay? I will have that linked down in the description box if you want to um, if you want to shop it, check it out. Oh, and also too, by the way, before you go, don't forget to leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments, whether it is on the video, the products, if you have tried these and you like them or you don't or whatever, um, just make sure that you're leaving me all the comments and the thoughts down there because it really helps me kind of gauge. You know, I want to make sure that I'm talking about products and stuff that you guys are into, that you care about, because obviously that's the whole reason you're here and that's why I'm here. So make sure that you're talking to me, letting me know what's going on and if you like these. And of course, as I said at the start of the video too, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all of which would be greatly appreciated, um, especially Instagram. And I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My back itches and I can't reach it, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Wee! You know what? Oh, well, oh, that was fun. <laughs> All right, now as far as the lumber goes, and going over top of it with the uh, Physician's Formula pencil proved to be not the best decision I've. Uh, decision. But first thing I can tell you is that I need to find my damn lash curler so I can get my lashes good and lifted up to Jesus, and then we can go from there. All right, so I found my lash curler. This is just my old one from Tarte. I don't know where this accent came from, <laughs> but apparently I'm testing out my lash curler. I have a problem. Huh. And the only solution is more cowbell.